While the next generation of flight will bring us ocean liners in the air, some innovative designers are looking to the sea for their inspiration, opening up a window on an entirely new way of flying. The future of flight is learning from nature. This is the future, and it's 500 million years old. Learning from nature for us means lightweight structures and also swarm behavior. Marcus Fisher is the head of design for Festo, a future flight think tank, where they're creating radical new approaches to flight, clearing the way for others to develop future applications. By watching ancient creatures of the deep, Festo is coming up with new designs to reach the heights. Jellyfish move with their tentacles and with the peristaltic motion. Peristaltic motion is like the opening and closing of an umbrella. Jellyfish move forward by opening their circular mantle, called a bell, and then expelling the water below. Festo's air jelly works much the same way, except it's pushing air with its tentacles. It's the first time peristaltic propulsion has ever been used in the air. A whole new approach for future flight, and one that could lead to a new class of aircraft. We have a structure, it's called the fin ray structure. The fin ray structure is derived from the fish's fin. We use it to make this peristaltic motion, and it works like this. No one ever thought about peristaltic motion to use it in flight together with the gas balloon. The manta ray and the motion of its wing-like pectoral fins is inspiration for another Festo creation. The air ray is a helium ballonet within an elastic polymer that gives the craft its 14-foot wingspan. The fluid muscle movement of a beating wing is created by a small servo motor that bends the wing in a fin ray motion. It's covered by a treated aluminum skin and all of it is made by hand. You have to have hands on because you have to have a feeling for the things. For instance, the fin ray, you have the feeling for this structure and only if you do it manually it would be good and you learn a lot. For Festo, these have been explorations into new ways of using air. They were not created with specific applications in mind. But Marcus Fisher believes one day devices like this could be a smart, low-cost way to ferry people and packages around town. Imagine air jelly taxis or air ray couriers dotting the skyline. And they can be made more cost effective by taking another tip from the world around us. We use swarming behavior and swarming behavior means that they are very efficient and reduce the fuel consumption or the energy consumption. Lessons from nature that could lead to lighter, more efficient, more affordable aircraft. In the future, it will be much easier for everybody to fly.